What's up, guys? Baker here. Um, today I got sky replacement tutorial, and um, I know I, I already did it uh, live, but I'm just gonna make it a separate tutorial because I uh, got some pretty useful information. And um, yeah, so basically, what we're gonna be doing here is just taking a look at this clip, and um, this can work for mainly you want to do sky replacements on like. Um, action footage which is like real life footage as opposed to um, uh, video gameplay but um, yeah so this effect really depends on your clip because here we can see a plain blue sky and pretty much nothing else in the entire video is blue so this essentially acts as a green screen so just a quick preview of what it's gonna look like is something like this so pretty look at that a little sunset or something and then of course you can just change it to um, my space one that I had before and you can always animate these too you can have like shooting stars and all that so let's get uh, right into it so I'll delete these and um, if your clip is a still like a, on a tripod you won't need to motion track it but since this clip is moving I already went ahead and motion tracked it using uh, Buju. You can use Camera Tracker, whatever you like. And um, yeah, so just keep in mind of that. What I want to start with first is taking our um, clip and just applying a hue and saturation. Now, this is optional. What I'm going to do here is just boost up this blue, the saturation, so I can um, key it out a little bit easier. So we'll go to the blues and just punch up the saturation not too much because you get a lot of uh, uh, noise and stuff so just enough so it's um, nice and clean like that now after that we're gonna use key lights and this is our main color key so we're gonna use key light screen color take the dropper um, just sample the sky and for the most part the sky is gone you can toggle transparency to see that but we do get some of this gross stuff so what I like to do is first take our balance set it to 50 and then take our screen gain and boost it up until pretty much everything is crushed away so we'll zoom in 100% here take a look at these edges look a little rough but we can clean that up so probably just set this to about 300 again this depends on your clip if it's uh, like a perfect green screen I'm sure it'll be quite easy to um, key out but we're gonna go to uh, screen mat and screen shrink negative one pixels and that'll kind of shrink up the mask you can see that there's zero negative one so a little bit cleaner um, if you want you can use a screen pre blur so you can see that some of these edges are pretty jagged so just blur it one pixel smooths it out quite a bit looks very nice now of course you can't always get a perfect key if you look to the right in the trees there are some blue like haloing but um, that's fine it depends on what you're replacing your background with because that might actually blend quite nice so that is pretty close to all of it you just gotta make sure nothing else is um, pretty much like blue you can see here that his shirt is getting keyed out so that is a problem but I'm going to ignore it because yeah to save time so anyway so once you have a uh, camera tracked or whatever you can do 2d tracking 3d tracking whatever take your background and I'm gonna use this picture of a cloud which I actually took myself just see it right there some clouds okay so you wanna make this a 3d layer and push this as far back as you can so if you drag this out hold shift and it'll zoom out quite a bit faster and set this to about 10,000 it's pretty good so then just position it around here probably fix the rotation so we go to rotation make it somewhat flat and then just scale it up push it back up now since we said the edging was oops edging was kinda blue I wanna move this up so that I do get a little bit of blue on the bottom. Scales up a little bit more. Scoot over. Make sure your clip 
your background shows the entire time. Got some black bars on the side. And all right. So for the most part, it does look stuck on there, and that's pretty good. Now what you can do is um, color correct it a little bit to make um, the clip or the background blend in a little bit nicer. So either color correct the clouds. So um, yeah, I don't know. But I'm gonna go ahead and just color correct the clip itself using some curves. And um, I want to darken it just a little bit in the uh, shadows. And maybe give it a blue tone by pulling down the red and then bumping up the blue. So kind of matching a little bit better. I also want to make a quick adjustment layer. Oh, it's already on here. Just kidding. With some glow, just basic glow. Uh, make the radius a little bit larger than normal, so 200 pixels. And uh, it's a little too bright, so I'm going to go back to here and just fix up the uh, curves. Now the ground looks really red, so I'm going to go to red channel, bring down the red a lot. I don't like that red. So, yeah, just kind of mess with that. Blues, maybe a little higher again. So, um, I don't remember the color correction I had before, but I kind of want to get rid of those reds. Maybe just uh, fix the glow, not make it so intense. That'll work. Okay, so that's basically it. Um, again, you can just swap it out for um, another thing. Now, if you want to animate the background, just take your clouds, pre-compose it, leaving all the attributes, so that when we go inside, we just get a 2D image. And you can, um, let's just say you have some, you have a video or something, or let's pretend this is a black shooting star. Push P for position, keyframe, move forward, and uh, move it over or something. And you'll see that it should move in your comp. It's too high. So this needs to be like somewhere down here. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Whoa, it's like a like a black sun or something. Yeah, okay. Anyways, so that's the whole thing. We're going to use key light to key out the clip. Again, it depends on your clip because nothing else needs to be that same color or it gets keyed out as well. You can see his shirt is see-through for a quick second over here somewhere. So... That's about it. Um, if you make any videos, real life videos with this trick, go ahead and post a video response. Leave a like, comment, favorite. Uh, I got Facebook, Twitter, ask me questions on there, whatever you want. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and learned something. Alright, peace.